Leon and his men are shown arriving in Congo City. As he approaches, his army is attacked by a tribe. There was no one remaining from Leon's army. Only Leon remained, and they were going to put an end to him. However, Leon kills a member of their tribe, and the group's leader comes. Leon came here to steal gems and elephant teeth, according to the leader. There was an agreement between them. The leader requests something and promises that if you bring it, he would give you all of Congo. Tarzan was the issue, as were the tribe leader's demands for Tarzan. The scene changes to reveal a meeting room. Tarzan is depicted to be a member of a royal family rather than living in the woods. Tarzan's name was John. The Prime Minister informs John that an invitation has arrived for him from Africa. The Africans wish to summon you to their continent, where you will conduct research. We'll acquire the information from there. John has turned down this invitation to travel to Africa. Mr. George arrives just as John is about to depart. Mr. George enjoys spending time in the woods as well. Mr. George claims that if you travel there, you would be able to encounter the Congo people. What is preventing you from going there? You've spent a lot of time in Congo, but John warns George that something is wrong. I don't want to return to Congo. If you go there, George adds, we can aid the people there since we know the people there and the king there is nothing. Congo will be taken over by us soon. This is something you should go see. Tarzan prepares to return to his old home, as John puts it. The scene moves to Tarzan's past. Tarzan's parents are depicted, they were trapped in Congo City and lived in a house built upside down in a tree. After a period of time, his mother died, and his father believes that someone will come to his son's rescue. The gorillas, on the other hand, arrived and killed Tarzan's father. After hearing the baby's voice, the gorillas enter the treehouse. Tarzan is approached by a female gorilla with a little baby gorilla. It indicates Tarzan to keep the baby. The scene turns to Tarzan, who is seen with his wife Jane. Jane recounts the children the story of Tarzan and also informs them about the animals of Congo. They are enormous, and Jane discovers that Tarzan is relocating to his home. Jane wishes to accompany him, but he declines. Tarzan informs Jane that a tribe is pursuing me. I'm not afraid of that tribe, but I'm afraid they'll harm you. Jane is adamant about going. The scene shifts to Tarzan's past once more. Tarzan was a tiny child when he was adopted by the gorilla female. He lives with his sibling, who is the gorilla female's son. Tarzan was supposed to be killed by the gorilla's leader, but he didn't. They eventually accept Tarzan. Tarzan spent his infancy with his brothers, and the picture swings back to the present, with Tarzan inspecting his boyhood attire. He convinces Jane that this is a perilous location. Jane replies, I'm going to live with a tribe there, and Tarzan agrees. Tarzan, Jane, and George have arrived in Congo. Some lions materialize in front of Tarzan as he approaches. They greet Tarzan with affection and appear to be welcoming him. George is taken aback by the fact that these animals can coexist with Tarzan in this manner. Later, the scene moves to a city, where the banker has given dead a large sum of money, which Leon promises to return. However, you must assist us in return. You must send a 20,000 strong army to Congo City. The banker resists, threatening to take over Congo if the money is not returned. Leon assures him that everything will be okay soon. Tarzan, Jane, and Gurge have demonstrated their ability to approach a Kuba tribe. Jan was born and raised in this neighborhood. Her father was a professor who instilled in everyone the ability to read and write. After meeting Tarzan and Jane, everyone was ecstatic. At night, they were telling Tarzan's story. Tarzan reminisces about his history. Tarzan's life in the forest among the animals is depicted. Is he aware of how he met Jane? Jane is in the forest with the animals when she encounters Tarzan for the first time. Jane rushes forward in search of Tarzan after he hides. Meanwhile, a swarm of gorillas has arrived and is about to attack Jane, when Tarzan appears and saves her. Jane takes care of Tarzan when he is injured and transports him to the Kuba tribe. The plot is set in the present day, and Leon has arrived in the Kuba tribe with his troops. He is the Kuba tribe's leader at the end. Leon came here to grab Tarzan because he promised to surrender him to the other commander. Jane is detained by him. In addition, he makes Tarzan his slave. When Leon was about to take everyone, George fires. Tarzan flees, but Leon drags Jane behind him. Tarzan is aware of Leon's plans for Jane. 
Because it was a lengthy journey, they had to enlist the assistance of the train. George tells Tarzan that he will accompany him. Tarzan claims that this occurred as a result of your request for me to come here. Because of you, my wife Jane is in jeopardy. We sent the invitation from the royal family, Leon tells Jane. So Tarzan will arrive, and we will apprehend him. Jane believes you have made a major blunder in your life. While dialing Tarzan's number. Tarzan is seen walking to the railway station with several members of his tribe, and he want to go while grasping tree branches. George is unaware of the situation, but Tarzan is willing to assist him. They reach the train's roof and discover a large number of inmates inside. Tarzan struggles for their release. He puts an end to everyone who has been in prison because of them. Jane is shown in a scene where Leon forces her to eat dinner with him. Jane selects a knife from the collection. Leon recognizes her since he has spent half of his life in the woods. That's why he understands how to deal with them. Leon has a rosemary built of the most powerful spider web. Jane claims that when Tarzan arrives, he will not spare you. If he comes, Leon continues, I'll hand him over to the other tribe, who will offer me jewels and elephant teeth in exchange for him. Tarzan is seen disembarking from the train. He tells George, now I have to go forward on my own. I won't be able to bring the tribe members with me. Because if I take them all with me, they'll all be over. George did not abandon Tarzan, he remained with him. He promises he'll be with you, and Tarzan must leave Congo City's forest. Giant gorillas were present. Tarzan challenges the gorilla leader to a fight, telling George that the gorilla leader will fight alongside him, and that the winner will persuade everyone to agree with him. How can you battle a big gorilla? George asks. Tarzan's brother was the leader of the gorillas. They label me a traitor now that I dwell with humans, Tarzan says to George. There was a fierce struggle between them, but because the gorilla was Tarzan's brother, it said nothing to him. Tarzan instructs George to stoop in front of it as it approaches. Otherwise, this gorilla will put an end to your life. This is also Leon's intention, as Tarzan discovers. Leon wants to take Jane to that tribe because he knows I'll save her there. Jane is pictured speaking to the tribe members in their native tongue. She motions for them to depart before diving into the ocean. While swimming, she makes it to the jungle. She comes face to face with a massive gorilla, and as soon as she sees it, she bends in front of it. Jane knows that if we bend in front of the gorillas, they will not hurt us. In search of Jane, Leon and his companions arrive there. Jane asks Leon to keep his mouth shut around the gorilla. I am prepared to accompany you. Leon's companions assault the gorilla as he takes Jane with him. The gorillas were on their way to extinction. Tarzan was able to hear them from afar. Tarzan also makes contact with the gorillas. When Tarzan's brother arrives, Leon's army attacks Tarzan's brother, a gorilla. Tarzan, on the other hand, rescues the day. Tarzan still considers the gorilla to be his brother, according to the gorilla. Until then, Leon had brought Jane along with him to the tribe. Tarzan reminisces on his youth. The gorilla female was killed by the tribe leader's son, according to his mother. Tarzan has killed the leader's son in retaliation for his mother's death. This is why the tribe's chief desires Tarzan. He desired vengeance for his son's death. Leon had kept his word to the chief of the tribe. He kidnapped Jane, and Tarzan was also involved. Leon receives a plethora of diamonds and elephant teeth in exchange. The tribe's members surrounded Tarzan, and a battle erupted between Tarzan and the tribe's leader. Tarzan explains to the tribe head that Leon's friend will be occupying Congo. They have a large arsenal of weapons. You won't be able to do anything when they arrive with a 20,000 strong army. Tarzan's brother Gorilla, on the other hand, arrives with the gorillas. When the inhabitants of that tribe see this, they flee. Tarzan tells the tribe chief that your son killed my mother. My kid was unaware that the gorilla female was your mother, according to the leader, and the tribe leader is aware of this. Jane and Leon have come a long way together. Tarzan seeks assistance from the forest creatures. A 20,000 strong army had also arrived, and the animals were ready to assist Tarzan. Although the animals attack Leon's camp, Leon refuses to abandon Jane. When the animals attack Leon, he abandons Jane in the middle of the chaos. Jane is rescued by Tarzan and handed up to George. Leon tries to flee, but he's not sure how far Tarzan will let him go. George locates a machine gun and launches an attack on Leon's ship. When Tarzan arrives at Leon's ship, 
Leon ties his neck with Rosemary. For a brief while, Tarzan appeared to be about to death, but suddenly he uses his strength to break the Rosemary. With his voice, Tarzan summons the tortoises, who congregate and devour Leon. The ship's power was raised till then, and a massive explosion occurred. Everyone believes Tarzan has passed away. A 20,000 strong army returns to witness the explosion. They think we can't battle the Congo tribe's people. They decide to return since we shall die. Tarzan is shown that nothing bad has happened to him, and he embraces Jane. The tribe's members were also released. While collecting data, George encounters Tarzan.